In Excel, like other applications in the Office suite, you can create and run macros. Macros are used to automate tasks in Excel. In a business environment, someone may have already written macros to perform certain tasks, and this will be explained to you. You'll be told what macros to run and when. Many businesses automate certain tasks using macros because macros can save a lot of repetitive work. Macros can do routine tasks faster than you can, and they perform them with a high level of accuracy, in particular where the task is purely repetitive. Excel macros can range from simple macros to very complex ones. Some are made by recording your keystrokes as you make them in Excel using the Excel macro recorder. These are then saved so that you can play them back at any time. Macros can also be written from scratch using the Visual Basic for Applications programming language. Teaching Visual Basic for Applications is beyond the scope of this video course, and it's a full-blown course of all of its own. However, I'm going to show you in a later video the Visual Basic editor so that you can see what macros actually look like. You can also find macro code on the web, and you can copy and paste it into Excel so that you can create and run macros that other people have written to use yourself. But now let's look at the macro that we're going to create. I have a worksheet here, and it has a title that's already typed into cell A1. I want to make this into a nice heading, so I'm going to select cell A1 and the other cells across which my title will show, because that's the way the macro has been set up. It expects you to have selected the cells to use before you begin. Now I'm going to run my macro, and to do that I'll click the View tab on the ribbon and click the Macros list here. And here is my macro, it's called Helen Heading, and I'll click to run it. This macro centers my heading across the range of cells and it formats it to look nice. It also adds a colored background and a cell border. In the next video, you'll see how you can record this macro yourself so that you can use it in your own worksheets.